I had a boyfriend who told me I'd never succeed, never be nominated for a Grammy, never have a hit song, and that he hoped I'd fail. I said to him, someday when we are not together, you won't be able to order a cup of coffee at the deli without hearing or seeing me. This is the motivational success story of Lady Gaga, her journey from chronic pain, depression and anxiety to an Oscar for A Star Is Born. When I speak about mental health, especially when I'm speaking about mine, it is often met with quietness, or maybe a somber line of fans waiting outside to whisper to me in the shadows about their darkest secrets. We need to bring mental health into the light. Lady Gaga didn't have an easy childhood. At school she was bullied for her eccentric look. She was called a slut and was not accepted by her classmates. Bullying really stays with you your whole life, and it really never goes away. And I know you're using words like superstar and most googled and billions of YouTube views. But I was never the winner. I was always the loser, and that still stays with me. When she was a teenager, she was sexually assaulted. I was raped when I was 16 years old. It took me seven years and being assaulted a second time to admit to anyone that something happened to me. Had I known that people were talking about rape and doing something about it, maybe I would have told someone sooner. At the very last, I would have felt less alone. After the sexual assault, Lady Gaga says that she has been changed forever. Because of that traumatic experience that happened many years ago, Lady Gaga suffers from chronic pain. She feels miserable every single day since the incident happened. The trauma is one big factor for her mental health problems that haunted her for many years. In one speech she explained how she battles depression. I said this earlier and I'll say it again. I invented myself, Lady Gaga, and curated my life to be an expression of my pain. This is how I overcame my depression is by creating somebody that I felt was stronger than me. But once I went through all sorts of changes, my career taking off, becoming more isolated, nothing was able to fix how I was genetically made. I was born this way. So how do we now, knowing all of that, no matter how much success you have, no matter how many opportunities, fame, fortune, no matter how many people accept you to your face, the person that really needs to accept you is you. I have some sort of anxiety, depression, something that changed my whole life. I take antidepressant medication for it. I have tried to get off of it. My doctor always tells me not to, that it's not safe for me to. Whenever I've tried to, I've gotten very neurotic, manic, sick. I started looking into Ayurvedic medicine, I started looking into mindfulness and meditation, I started looking into a mantra, I do acupuncture, I do cupping, I pray sometimes, I make music, I write poetry, I'm an actress now, that helped me a lot. But so these are the things that I started to do, but what helped me the most that I want to impress upon all of you is that I realized that Part of my identity is saying no to the things I don't want to do. I have had to make decisions like, why am I unhappy? Okay, Stephanie, Gaga, why are you unhappy? Why is it that you want to quit music a couple years ago? It's like, well, I really don't like selling fragrances, perfumes. I don't like wasting my time spending days just shaking people's hands and smiling taking selfies feels shallow to my existence I have a lot more to offer than my image no I don't like being used to make people money I feel sad when I'm overworked and that I've just become a money-making machine and that my passion and my creativity take a back seat that makes me unhappy so what did I do I started to say no I don't want to do that I'm not taking that picture not going to that event, not standing by that because that's not what I stand for. And slowly but surely, I remembered who I am. 
and then you go home and look in the mirror and you're like, yes, I can go to bed with you every night because that person, you know that person, that person has balls, that person has integrity, that person has an opinion, that person doesn't say yes. I check in with myself throughout the day and I say, do I really want to do this? And if the answer is no, I don't do it, and you shouldn't either. Lady Gaga rose from the ashes of her pain, bullying, rape, rejections, depression, and culminated with her standing on stage and accepting an Oscar for her work in A Star is Born. This is her acceptance speech. If you're at home and you're sitting on your couch and you're watching this right now, all I have to say is this is hard work. I have worked hard for a long time and it's not about winning. What it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion. It's not about how many times you get rejected or you fall down and get beaten up, but how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going. Remember something. Depression doesn't take away your talents. It just makes them harder to find. But I always find it. I learned that my sadness never destroyed what was great about me. You just have to go back to that greatness. Find that one little light that's left. I'm lucky I found one little glimmer stored away. So, what's your story?